Hey there, I'm Weiss, and this is a song breakdown video. Starting with Miles Away, very first song of my very first official album on streaming services. Felt pretty cool. I uh, really love this song. I love the vibe and just uh, really like what I had to say on it, I guess. So I will jump right in with the lyrics and then we'll talk about the instrumental a little bit. Opens up with rays of sunshine peering through leafy ceilings. I vowed to myself that words can't hurt my feelings. Whole life I've always had to work way hard at math. Now I walk round with my name on a bucket hat. The first line was birthed by a memory uh, just with one of my old buddies. Um, we were out doing what we always did, which was smoking blunts in the woods somewhere. And I just remember looking up into this network of branches and and leaves that sort of hit us from anyone who could catch us smoking. And uh, and I just really appreciated the scenery. I actually took a picture of it for my Snapchat memories. Second line is just like a proclamation of how I feel about other people's opinions. I think that um, you can't pass a certain threshold of happiness until you stop caring what other people have to say about you. And then the last couple times, or last couple lines, rather, speak on how much harder I have to work at math than any other subject by far, like writing. Um, and how, ironically enough, now I'm crunching numbers on merchandise and such. And then the closing bars of verse 1 are, Slow down and chill, half full or half empty. Go fast and spill, so I'm hunkered and ready. Ready to blow any time, any place. I spent the last three years cementing my base. The last half of the first verse is really talking about uh, my time as an artist and, you know, having a positive attitude. Is the glass half full or half empty? Well, it doesn't matter if, if you know, I'm racing so quickly that the glass spills entirely. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to keep uh, building on the foundations that I've spent the last three years creating. Dare to escape your own psyche and laugh. You've been living life, but through thick walls of glass. Again, I sort of touch on this notion that you have to step outside of other people's opinions and yourself for that matter to reach a, a sort of perpetual state of joy. You can be happy and still care about other people's opinions, but you're only getting part of the experience. You know, you're watching everything through thick walls of glass. We've got... It's all love with my crew, got big hearts that stay true, coming real stone but real harmless like Scooby-Doo. Uh, I love to throw in references of my childhood wherever I can, and as soon as I came up with the first line and noticed that it ended with the word true, I knew I had to throw in a Scooby-Doo reference because I am a huge, huge Scooby-Doo fan. Just wait for the day that my powers kick in. I'll take up the mantle of Super Grinning. It seems that they've lost hope in wake of his absence. Who's to come in and restore all this balance? Yeah, this is another example of how my nerdiness creeps into my music and stuff uh, with references to non-existent superheroes. I always tell my friends that I'm waiting for the day that my superpowers kick in. You know, like... Uh, a fucking car is coming my way and I get super speed or some shit. Uh, just based on the shit I grew up watching. And yeah, just, you know, I'm contextualizing that within a world of music and like becoming a better artist. And uh, when those powers do kick in, I will become super grinning, who I imagine is a superhero that inspires a lot of joy in people. And then to close out the song, yeah, I talked about how the world has lost hope um, in Super Grinnin's absence, and sort of leave the door for someone to come fill in those shoes. Who could it be? Okay, on the instrumental side, it's actually a super simple beat, uh, with pretty minimal mixing and effects. There aren't a lot of instrumental elements, and that just really, uh, opened up the soundscape for lyrics really well. So, I started with these opening sounds, this, uh, dream sequence thing in Logic Pro. And I added some bass and I just rolled with that for a while. You'll see that I'm totally color coded. We'll listen to this. Again, super simple, low velocity on this instrument with the chords. Um, yeah, and then of course I've got this uh, 
this more synthy instrument. I did this, I revisited the project one day and just, you know, threw in some toms and a hi-hat and then I added this synthy instrument and I really liked it as sort of a instrumental chorus of sorts. Um, we'll grab the loop and, and solo that out as well. Same thing. Basically the same exact thing. Take this off. I also had this Japanese flute that's given a little bit of support to that. You can you can barely hear that. Let's uh what is this at a negative twenty-five? Drop this back down. Uh yeah, little shit like that certainly helps. And then I'll also solo out the drums. So I have uh different stuff situated different ways so that I can EQ it, which is, you know, just focusing on certain frequencies, essentially. Um, so here are the hats and, and, uh, and such. They're a little bit, you know, in the, in the higher frequency range. That's why I separate, separated them. And then same with this sub bass right here. You know, that looks very different than, you know, this, this one looks. And even more different from the vocals it's it's pretty crazy and then throughout I also have these um, just effects let's take a look at this real quick that just made this part um, this transition bleed together a little bit better it's barely noticeable and then what do we got here oh yeah Sa same deal and then, um, yeah, you'll notice there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of layers to the vocals. Specifically, there is just the main vocal line with all these little cuts between it to cut out like bits of silence uh, to make it a little bit smoother. And then also panned totally to the left and totally to the right are the same track that double it and support it. And they're mixed a little bit differently here and there. Uh, certainly EQ differently and such um, just to sit under the main vocals better, but they just give it that stereo width. Then also some emphasis on some words, a little bit of support for the chorus early on, that's all modulated. And then this is just a folder of all the, all the, um, old takes that I did for everything. I like to still keep everything. I'd really like to talk about the steel drums because I just love that as an instrument. And as soon as I saw that, um, that Logic had it, I was like, fuck, I gotta put that in a song, so I'll solo that out. And that just sits well. Let's uh, mute the vocals real quick. Yeah, I, I just love the way that that uh, sits over everything. and It sits in the back really well. Let's see. What else we got? Also, yeah, one, um, sort of the bridge right here into the second verse, I added these tubas, also panned hard left and hard right. I, you know, I'm still learning. I wouldn't necessarily do all this shit the same. Um, but uh, I've got these tubas just because they added a certain softness. Yeah, that's just, that's awesome. And it's just barely noticeable. But uh, once you hear it, you know, you, you're going to anticipate it every time you listen to the song. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, again, I just loved that more than anything, this synthy sound because of how nostalgic it, it felt. And that sort of, uh, I sort of just tried to, when I was writing the lyrics, like capitalize on, on that sound. Uh, the switch up right at the end, this right here. That is also where an effect is. Same effect. Again, I, I love the way it bleeds in the, the the change in instrumental. But yeah, I basically just threw the hats on. And I found this instrument that I just thought was so fucking cool. Um, played around with it a little bit. And yeah, I threw that in and I liked the way it switched up. I thought it was a cool conclusion to the song in its own right. But I also thought it was a better way to bleed into the next song on the album which was uh, miles away flip side 